One of the great things about Anime Studio is the ability to work within 3D space. You can create actual depth with your assets. You can move certain assets forward more towards the camera and other assets further from the camera so that when it comes time to do camera work, for instance, you can create that parallax effect. And this adds a lot of depth and it saves a lot of time and can really create a unique style for your cartoon. So one thing about it though, that always was a little bit of a pain. For instance, if I had this set set up like I do right now, this, this scene that it is, and I have my assets all ready to go. I have my character where I want him. I have the background assets. I've composed the shot how I want it. But then I realize, oh, well, I forgot to create the depth. I forgot to use the Z properties. I just enlarged the character. I just reduced the size of the background assets. I didn't actually create any depth. Okay, well, I need to go in and do that now. So then you take, for instance, your character and you bring him towards the camera. Then you have the issue that the character is then too big. Well, then he's closer to the camera, but we need to put him back more to his original size. So then we take the transform layer tool and reduce it and try to get him back as close as we can and, and so on and so forth. So again, the depth thing is cool, but that was always a bit of a pain. Now with the new depth shifting, this is no longer quite an issue because you can do both the depth and the resizing at the same time. Anime Studio will actually automatically resize your asset back to its original size, yet push it further or closer to your camera. So in order to do this, let's take my character layer here and the transform layer tool. Now, when you put your transform layer tool cursor within the layer, you can move the layer around. Now, if you hold in Alt, on your keyboard and go back and forth, you can actually adjust the depth. I did it numerically before. You can see it's adjusting the depth. So now with depth shifting, if we hold an alt and shift and do what I just did, now we want to bring him closer to the camera. So I'll move downward. You can see it's coming closer, but the minute I release my mouse button, you can see it snaps back. Now what's happening here, you can see that the depth has changed. It's now at 0.5 as opposed to zero. But what's happening here is Anime Studio is resizing the asset as we change the depth. So let me put it to about one so I can keep going. I just nudge it up a bit and I'm about at, okay, that's about one now. So as you can see, as I bring it closer to the camera, it's resizing. And if we check the orbit tool here, you can see that he is in fact closer to the camera and the background assets are further back. So now let's do this with some of our other assets. I'll click on the sidewalk and fence group layer here and then hold an alt and shift and then I will nudge this back. So I'll do about 0.6 there and I can do, let's go about two-ish there. And then for the clouds even, which are kind of hidden back there, I can push these way back. So I can just kind of keep going for, whoops, don't want to do that. <laughs> I can just kind of keep going for a bit here and probably push it back even to maybe about like 17, for instance. And this is something I would actually play with and see exactly what I want to do here with these depth settings. But so now click on the orbit tool again. You can see that the clouds are definitely more in the background. We have the school we have then the other plane there with the fence and then we have the character and then we have the other piece right there so if we take the track camera and move it you can see that there is definitely that parallax going on there where we just have the the depth coming into play and it's all made very easy now with depth shifting so if you plan to upgrade to 9.5, I would definitely check this setting out, especially if you work within the 3D space of Anime Studio. Also, to stay up to date, please subscribe. That way you get the latest videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and basically every social media network out there, so you can keep up to date in many different ways. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.